McCutcheon said on the field he hasn't necessarily been getting all the hits that he wanted since coming over here, but did still feel good about getting on base consistently. What has he brought to this lineup? He, he really has. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's really starting to swing the bat better now over the last week, but it's it's been quality at bat after quality at bat, and, and the ability get, to get on there at the top for us is, has been big. And, um, you know, I think we're seeing a guy starting to kind of get comfortable and, you know, a big night by him tonight. Uh, it's really good to see. What does it say about the offense, the way they came out tonight in that first inning, especially after a rough road trip? Yeah, it was that was uh, that was really nice. And, you know, like I said, that last game on the road trip, you know, for being no hit and whatever, I felt like our at-bats were good. I felt like we actually, up and down the lineup, hit the ball pretty well. Um, obviously, not much to show for and tonight to really come out and get after it and, and throw a throw a crooked one up there early and then continue to kind of add on was nice and something something we needed and hopefully something that can that can jump start us even more a little bit coming into tonight did you expect to try to get judge into the game or is it just the way things played out that you were able to get him in there yeah just kind of the way it played out um uh it was almost kind of the perfect scenario. I was going to maybe put him in for McCutcheon, but when his spot kind of rolled through uh, to Hicks, and I knew, you know, I knew I, I wasn't going to let Judge hit. So then you're talking about m more moving parts. So it kind of lined up tonight, and you know, for him to get out on the field and get a couple innings on defense just to get a look, um, you know, I was holding my breath. <laughs> just to just to do it but to see him out there and be able to get out on the field I think is a nice uh nice step forward for him do you hear the excitement of the crowd as he runs out to the outfield uh, oh yeah does? oh yeah I I uh I I took a second to kind of enjoy that and just to you know take a peek at how much they appreciate him and um you know <clears throat> just the kind of guy he is it was good to see uh everyone really get behind uh, you could feel the buzz there damn when you say you're holding your breath, is, is there any um, danger of him re-injuring or making the injury worse if he if he should dive or run into the, the wall, or is there is that any? No, no. But anytime you put your star player in, just in a game like that, and it's just to get some reps, and all of a sudden, just you, you know, anything you just want to avoid any. But you all, you also understand it's important to get out there because he's not going to go necessarily be able to play in game. So if we can knock off a little bit of the rust with a with a base running situation here, or, or to get out in the field for a couple innings, I think there's value in it. But you know, just you still kind of hold your breath on it. But no, wrist wise, you know, okay. Ron, to the and now that you see him out on the field starting to knock off the rust, do you think having him as a full player sometime during the homestand is a possibility? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. Dan. Was uh, taking Torres out, was that just the score, or was there something else there? Yeah, um, I flirted with it a couple times over the last couple weeks. He's probably been about the only guy I haven't got out of there at all or any of these so you just kind of you know in those rare games where you have these opportunities and be in September where you have a deep bench you try and pick your spots with a few guys to to get them off their feet for e even if it's an inning or two so just felt like there was a little value in that Meredith what stood out to you about Tanaka tonight more of the same um it, you know his slider continues to be a really good pitch for him i thought they did a decent job laying off some some of his splits down but uh he continued to the fastball continued to be a factor for him um i thought he was good down in the zone with it as well as elevating it at times um but he's just been real sharp with all of his pitches you know the slider split and fastball have been there's just really good intent it seems like right now with you know what he wants to do where he wants to go with it and then he's he's really executing and uh he continues to be really really consistent for us really since he came back ron do you think tanaka hap severino feel there's a bit of a competition for who's going to get to start the wild card game i don't know about that i think they're all just understanding that you know these are obviously meaningful games and the importance every time they take the ball um 
so I don't know if it's necessarily competition more than it is, you know, we're going out there and trying to trying to win games. And they're obviously a big part of that. And so I think they're just going out there and trying to be really good at their craft and on their day give us a really good chance to win. I, I, I think that's kind of the, the focus and understanding at, you know, this time of the year it's important that they pitch well. And uh, so I think it's more that, more as <laughs> – competing for a for a slot or anything um i don't i mean the these things matter and what they've done has mattered and and you know how they're pitching in the final two weeks certainly matters absolutely so yeah but you know we also take into account you know who we're playing where we're playing all those things and and you you hope to have a number of people to pick from that are pitching well down the stretch. That's our that's our hope. Mark, front left. I know nothing's clinched yet, but you know how much you guys love Yankee Stadium play here. Do you feel like you're in a race for the for the home field advantage for that game? Um, we we want to go out and and play well. And yes, sure, we of course we want to play here in the playoffs, and. And it's nice knowing that that's in our control. Um, so we're going to go out and and hope to get that done. And hopefully that coincides with us playing really good baseball these final couple weeks as we roll into the playoffs.